Hey guys, my name's Chris. I'm the author of the Voiceover Startup Guide, and I just wanted to give you um, just a little bit of an idea of what you can expect uh, from the Voiceover Startup Guide and how it goes about doing what the subtitle says it's going to do, which is to move you from doing like no voiceover at all to getting you your first job. So if you work in voiceover at all, or if you know anything about it, done any research on it, you know that voiceover is this really broad industry and it's hard to pin down because voice actors work in over a dozen different categories of work like there's all these little corners of the industry little genres that people work in all of them are different because all of them have different audiences and goals for the project so what works for one doesn't necessarily work for the other that's one of the great things about uh, the voiceover business but it's also one of the trickier things so one of the first things we do in the book is we help you uh, understand all of those different genres. We introduce them all to you. Um, we let you know what it takes to work in those genres, what it takes to advance in them, who the players are, what equipment or tools you're going to need in order to, to work in that side of the business. And that way, that'll give you an idea of, of which ones seem interesting to you and where you might want to go within voiceover. So we introduce all of those. And as we do that, we're also providing you with scripts and examples of each kind of work. So this is what is sort of unique about this book. We print the scripts in the book, obviously. If you've, you're buying the paperback or the ebook, you'll have the scripts there. But we also have produced audio files that match up with all the examples in the book. So you'll be able to read it, understand it, and then go hear it. And that takes your learning way up a bunch of notches because you're able to connect the visual with the audio, the, the performance of it. Um, if you buy the audio book, you already have the audio built in, but we also provide you with the scripts. So that way, no matter what, you're going to be able to see it and understand it and hear it and understand it. So that's what makes this book a little different than traditional uh, voiceover books. So once you're familiar with all those uh, VO genres, then we go into a discussion about how to train for all of them. Because again, they're all a little different and they require a little bit different approach to training. So we give you your options and talk about what it'll take to actually be able to work in each one of those genres. And then we get into a discussion about the tools and resources that you're gonna need for each genre. So uh, don't know if you know, but a lot of voice actors record at home now. A lot of the whole business has actually moved over and become kind of a home-based business, which is really cool, but it does require a certain amount of equipment. Now, I'm betting that you already have everything that you need to get started in it. Uh, most people just start out with a phone. So we talk about that, and then we talk about uh, the equipment that you'll need as you advance and learn more and want to upgrade your equipment. So we cover every single budget. Then, uh, I got notes here. Let me see what's next. Oh, right. Then we talk about voiceover demos. Now, if you're not familiar, a voiceover demo is about a minute's worth of audio that serves like an audio resume. So it shows what a voice actor can do within a certain voiceover genre. And there are rules to putting these things together. There's a way to do it. So we talk a lot about voiceover demos because they're just such an important part of the business. They're like an actor's headshot. Then we talk about the business part of the business. Now, um, I can already hear you yawning, like business, I don't have time for business. And that's totally cool. But if you're a freelancer who's interested in looking at voiceover for um, uh, smoothing out your income bumps, or you know, maybe you wanna make it a side hustle, or maybe you're an actor who understands that voiceover pairs really well with an acting career, but you don't exactly know how to get into it, then this is going to be uh, an important uh, part of the book for you because there are some businessy type things that you need to know in order to go from doing no voiceover at all to booking your first job. So we cover that, but we don't open the fire hose and just like blast you with information. We keep it simple. You're going to get what you need out of the information in the book, but you're not going to be overwhelmed. So that's it. That's a quick look at the book. Um, I hope it helped if you were kind of on the fence and you weren't really sure about picking up a copy or not. I hope it works for you. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, remember, this is what the cover looks like. Thanks, guys.